have today. We're going walking at the beach. It's a windy day. Kisses, kisses. <laughs> Run, Lou. Come on, Lou. Beautiful day. It's a Saturday. It's a lovely energy here down at the beach. Not sure the people want to be videotaped, so I'm trying not to get them on camera. Some beautiful ducks out there. Sometimes it's nicer to go off the trail. Lily, do you want to go in the woods? That way it's not windy and cold. It's a little bit more cozy. This is where, oh look, this is where the birds live. Herons. You can see it. But sometimes you can see the nests. I remember last spring, many people were just standing in this area looking at the herons. We could see all the nests and they were quite excited and there was a lot of activity and the birds. It's quite amazing. I haven't been through all of the trails. I like to stay where the people are. So I don't often go exploring on the trails. Let's have a little peek in here. Oh, I remember this trail. This is the trail that it comes from the beach when Lily and I go. So it goes through there. But there's also a cool way to get to the ducks. If I could figure that out. Oh, I think it's on the other side of that. Well, we know this area. So we can go this way. Lots of little trails through here. I think the kids like to run and play through here and the dogs. pretty quiet back here. Yeah, so there's a lot of, <coughs> excuse me, herons that live in the trees around here. And I think there's a little, there's a little river and a little pond. I think I showed you that a couple videos ago where the ducks were. So they have places they can go. They also like to stand at the edge of the ocean too. I think they go fishing there. Lily, let's take this trail this time. It's a beautiful park. Normally we walk along the sidewalk, but days when it's windy, we come back here. No dogs, it says back there. There's a sign. 
but it's been digested by the tree. Sorry. I don't want to get the guy on camera. He doesn't want to be on camera. Oh, look at this pretty tree. about the names of the different trees. I've never been good at that. I think this might be, this might be some kind of birch because birch usually has like skin that's smooth. This is a nice one. I like these kind of trees where they just, they're kind of leaning. Maybe it's a willow or a type of willow, but you can tell that it's definitely felt the wind over the years being so close to the ocean. And look at these trees here. And right in the middle, they're empty. So maybe the wind comes whistling through there. Look at this beautiful tree. Maybe we go sit by it. It's got some really nice energy at the base of it. So maybe we'll set up the camera in this quiet, this quiet pulse of the afternoon. like we're just hanging like in a suspended moment. I'm going to put these mittens under my bottom because these are light colored pants. I don't need these headphones on right now because I'm filming. Watching someone on YouTube braid some sticks. And I think they must not have been the same kind of sticks. She was in Italy, this woman, and she was braiding these vines and they they wove together quite nicely, but these sticks are too stiff, I think, to weave together. Maybe if I soak them in water. Of, I'm just 
after things here. So probably mice live here, squirrels and birds. I always like to think about the kind of animals that live in the nature that I visit. I think the rain might be coming now. It was coming a little bit earlier. I can hear it. <sighs> Love and peace and light. I send out to all the nature around me. Hi there. So I set up my camera today and I hope it's going to be a good spot for us to do this work. So today I'm going to be working on the character Bob the Duck. So Bob the Duck is a story that I wrote many years ago. And it's a beautiful, endearing story. There are many parts to it. There are 12 parts to the story. And I've decided to put it into one book. Here are some of the pictures that I created to tell this story. So, <clears throat> I've got 11 usable pictures here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 for this part of the story. But because I've decided to put the whole series together, the 12 chapters, I'm going to reduce the number of pictures per chapter. Already the book is looking to be about 48 pages. So that is a long children's story. So I'm going to reduce the number of pages. This is going to be something like the cover. This picture here is going to be like, I'd like the cover to look like that. Um, and then these pictures are telling the story. But they're so beautiful. I love all the pictures. I think they're really necessary to tell the story. So <clears throat> we still have some decisions to make on the design elements because if I put these 11 pictures in, then I have to keep that same standard for each of the, of the 12 segments of the story. And that's, you know, over a hundred pages, <clears throat> excuse me, for this epic of Bob the Duck. So I'm just thinking about that now.